On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today, I want to take you with me on a ride on a deep snow. It's a lot of snow today, a lot of snow on the streets. It's snowing from around six hours now. And I find it really interesting to test Tesla Model 3. This is the long range all wheel drive on the snow. And I have tires, I have the Bridgestone LM005 tires. They are winter tires, 18 inch rims. And guys, those tires was really good until now. And I just wanna test it with you. I think it's a great, great option uh, to buy it in the winter. Um, I don't want to make too much advertising, but I still want to test it and I want to give you my feedback now. Also, we will test the regenerative brake at a maximum or and at low. So we will see in which way we can uh, somehow stop the car uh, when it's a lot of snow and ice on the road. So guys, um, let's go and drive the car and then um, we will talk as we drive. So. Let's do it, guys. All right, guys, let's drive it because uh, it starts snowing a little bit harder right now. Um, and the problem is that I don't have such a good visibility on the side, on the windows, but it's still fine. Let's go out from here. Uh, it's, it's really beautiful, uh, this kind of weather, uh, but it's also very dangerous when it comes to driving the car and you have to always pay attention uh, to the road and always drive slowly. Uh, for example, right now, the regenerative brake, I just put it to the low. Some of you guys comment in my last video and tell me that um, it's better to have regenerative brake on low and press the brake slowly than have the regenerative brake on high and let it regenerate. And today I wanna test that and I wanna show you what is my impression. Um, and I leave it on the low right now for the for the beginning I will have it on low you can see when you try to turn the car it's really really slippery and you have to really pay attention to the road here in the roundabout you can see when you try to turn the car it's it's really slippery if you want to turn the car completely every time you turn the steering wheel uh, at maximum or even more it's a little bit dangerous because uh, the car tends to slide when the wheels are turning. So yeah, that's something to pay attention always when you steer, steer slowly. If another car is around you, just try to do it really steady and slowly. Uh, right now we are on low. Let me turn on also the defrosting on the windows uh, on the rear there. If I try to release the acceleration, right now the regenerative brake in low is doing a quite, quite good job to be honest. I didn't feel like it's slippery even now. Yes, it, it's doing really good. If we put it on standard, I mean a little bit stronger, yeah, even now it's, it's really good. It's doing a great job. Uh, for example, if you go from 50, some people have to pass here. You can, you can actually stop with regenerative brake and you don't have any uh, problem in this matter. Yeah, I don't want to play with that because it's some other cars behind me, but I will test it again with normal brake without regenerative brake and we will see how is this handling, if it's better or not. my opinion the regenerative brake it's it's really do the job perfectly so i really recommend you never push the brake completely always just little little touch it 
that's my recommendation slowly slowly uh, stop the car when you want to stop it and always drive uh, safe under the speed limit and even more it feels quite stable until now I didn't feel like it's slipping or uh, something like that but I always try to turn um, slowly the steering Ah, look how nice it is guys everything white around here it's it's beautiful now we have to slow down and if i take off the foot it doesn't slip ring uh, maybe a little bit in the end but i didn't feel like it's it's slip ring um, right here the downhill as well it's doing good has a good grip I think this is kind of the maximum snow that the tires can do um, if the snow on the road will be higher than that I really recommend you to have some chains uh, on the on the wheels because it's it's kind of dangerous but at this kind of speed, 50, you can see even in the curves, the car is stable, it's doing good. There's nobody behind me, yes. So for example now, because there's nobody behind me, if I wanna slow down with the brake, you can hear the ABS, how it's doing, how it's braking, um, and it's, it's doing also fine, but I don't know. Um, when you have a higher speed, will be even more slippery if you try to brake. I think you should be fine also with regenerative brake and also with um, braking. Right now, for example, we have to go 50 there from 60. For example, you want to slow down. Regenerative brake is doing just fine. Just don't turn the steering wheel left, right, then the car will slip ring. But if you go straight, if you use the regenerative brake, you should be also fine. Now, let me put it on low again. And let's try right now on the next uh, road. Let's try to use the brakes now to see if the brakes are, are really better. Right now we have to pay attention because it's a downhill right here. Uh, someone is slipping, you see, with this Mercedes. It's really dangerous. He was actually stopped there. He cannot go. He cannot go forward in that. It's really dangerous when you go uphill if you don't have good tires and... Oh man, that's unfortunately... I wish I can help him somehow. On the curves is the most dangerous situation in the curves, guys. So in the curves, always, always slow down because the curves are the most dangerous. You can look at this. You see that? I even slip ring. I just did it on purpose because I want to show you how it's doing. I know that I can feel it. I also tested before and have some experience with cars. I drive for many years, so always on the curves. Pay attention to the road. It's it's really really uh, dangerous, I should say. So it's someone behind me, and it's someone behind me that stay really close. And this is something that I don't recommend you, at least when you go uphill and you have a lot of snow don't stay close with someone 
always leave some distance. It's uh, distance. It's 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 like safe. And this is this is something that I really recommend you. Drive slow. Keep the distance. Don't stay close to other cars, and also try to avoid if not other car come from the front try to avoid to stay close to those kind of um, side roads it's really really dangerous we can drive 60 here but the road doesn't allow you to drive um, that fast in my opinion it's, it's really white. Everywhere you look, it's white. A lot of snow. It's kind of at the limit between chain and, and tires. Lovely weather. Lovely, lovely weather. It's doing just fine. Model 3 is doing just fine. Uh, at this kind of uh, snow on the street, at this kind of level, um, it's doing lovely. Nothing to say about it. Right now, if I'm not wrong, we are on, let's go back, we are on low regenerative brake, yeah? That means I want to test the brakes to see how it's, it's, it's doing right here. We have to go 50 and I will slow down a little bit. So nobody behind me. And if you press the brake, uh, with the brake, it's also fine. You have to feel that, guys. Sometimes the brakes slowly brakes and sometimes leave the regenerative brake to the job. It's, it's the both things do a great job. The only thing that you should do is just do it gently, do it slowly take the curves really really with attention and slowly don't turn the steering wheel very fast that's that's the most dangerous situation anyway also the the tires is doing a great job really happy with those Bridgestone um, LM005 tires they are great and I have it now for two years I think two winters and they did a great job and also they are much more cheaper than the other version the other companies that sell it and they are somewhere in the middle middle to up in terms of price but they are good they, they are super good I feel like I have a good grip here is minus one degrees outside just to make an idea how the ice is forming on the right now when you go downhill of course again you have to slowly slow down and pay attention because you never know even if your car it's fine it's doing fine you never know what can can come from the other side another car that's slippering and yeah always always uh, pay attention, keep the distance, and try to, to stay away from from other cars. Keep keep some distance between them. It's, it's really other than that. It's really fun to drive in those kind of weather's. Snow here. It's even more snow on the road. I can see that it's really, really much snow. And it's coming a curve. You always anticipate and see the traffic ahead. And slowly turning. Stay away from the side.
here downhill go slowly guys always go slowly I have to stop and you press the brake slowly right now it's working it's on low regenerative brake and it's stopped quite nice 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 they work on this snow right here in this area I think I have to go right now or not yet yeah come on man it's really really snowing quite hard I can go my friend They working right here, there on the road. I don't know what it. Oh, really? I I don't believe that. Look at these guys. They put the what? They make the road in this kind of condition. This is for the first time when I see that, and I was thinking, I was thinking my country is crazy. That they do the road in in, in rain, but they do it in deep snow. Look at this. You see that? You feel that, guys? It's a slip ring. When you take the curves, always pay attention. Oh my God, I can't believe they, they actually paved the road in, in some kind of condition. It's, it's incredible. I didn't expect that. It's, it's working. It's really working to do that. Incredible. Incredible. Anyway, There's nobody behind. That's good. We can test the brake again. So, for example, right now it's on low, and you want to stop and you will use the brakes. Let's see what happened. Yes, the car will stop. Nah, the brakes are also good. You have the ABS and it's doing a good job. Meters, turn left and, just lost and let's leave on standard the regenerative brake. Let's see how it's handling. Yeah, it's doing fine. It's the same thing. I feel like this kind of uh, at this kind of speed it's the same thing, it's not a big difference. Right now I will try to use only regenerative brake. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Here on curves, always long, always slowly. Always slowly, guys. I didn't, I think, look at this, regenerative brake. Yeah, no problem. Maybe a little bit at the end, it's it's stopped the wheels and it's slipping a little bit at the end. But in the beginning, it's doing a great job because the car have a lot of power. But in the end, it's a little bit slipping. Look at this. And now, yeah, now, almost when you are almost when you are close to the end, because the the car doesn't have that power, then the wheels will block because the wheel are kind of blocking that the energy will go back in the battery and in the end it will stop a little bit and then you will slip but just maybe just a 40 centimeters something like that not so much but in the now it has power it's regenerate and now just a little bit maybe 10 centimeter maybe 20 centimeters something really and then again the car is starting to stop um, and now I, I just want to try something. It's roundabout here. I just really slowly, guys, in the roundabout. When you take the curves, you try to go slowly. Curves are dangerous. Look, look how beautiful everything. It's so white. I didn't see that for a long time. I think it has passed a few years to see so so big snow. Look at this. Accelerate, and then 
take the foot off the acceleration, it's working regenerate, and then now try to use the brake and it's working, it's working and a combination regenerative brake in the beginning and then in the end you can try to, to use also the, the brakes pedal. Yeah, either way it's working, always drive slow. Anyway, enough with that, let's enjoy the ride, the ride a little bit. It's beautiful, really beautiful. doing just fine just fine yeah maybe it's a little bit aggressive now I I see that when you have high speed it's better to leave um, leave regenerative brake on low because when you have higher speed and the car will try to regenerate so aggressive then the wheels will be blocked and you will kind of slippering and even if you try to curve then will be dangerous so yeah I guess the the guy that write me in the comment last time was right at high speed uh, it's better to use slowly the brakes uh, and just less regenerative brake not so aggressive so try to to use less as possible um, yeah and then slowly brake use the brake pedal but really really slowly but even though even so in in electric cars if i try to use the pedal brake pedal first time it would use regenerative brake so i guess it's just about um, it's just about driving slowly keep the distance and will be everything fine Even if I try to go left and right, uh, the car have a good stability with those tires. Look at this. Yes, it's doing fine. It's doing, it's doing really fine. A bridge don't make also very good tires. Another thing that it's really, really, you have to avoid, it's acceleration, aggressive acceleration. So for example, if I try to accelerate aggressively now, the car will slip from, from all wheels and it's really dangerous. Slowly accelerate, slowly brake, keep the distance. Those are free magic rules. Now the roundabout. Take the second exit. We are close to the end. Uh, of the trip guys look at this what I told you always slowly always slowly 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 because look at this it's super slippery at at low speed it's it's incredible slippery guys Here, for example, let's try to show you. Let's turn the car. Look at this. It's every time when you turn the wheels, it's kind of. Look at this. Woo, it's super slippery. So if you turn the car maximum, wheels always pay attention. When the wheels are not straight, then you have to to have the maximum attention. But it's nice. It's nice. It's really nice driving on this kind of snow here the snow is a little bit deeper oh wow it's really slippery here uh, but it's quite nice it's quite cool oh yeah here it's quite quite deep snow and look at this the tires is doing fine man it's doing super fine it's 
stability it's relatively good oh yeah oh yeah oh I like that I like that it's fun it's fun to drive on the snow yeah, it's a close road Woo! oh yeah baby that's nice okay guys I guess that was the trip look at this how big is the snow here it's it's incredible high it's super high snow here and the car is doing great oh my god here here it's a park place let me park it here for a while I just want to show you outside how big is the snow here in this area it's just incredible look at this there are like three uh, like 20 maybe 10 20 centimeters no maybe less I think around 10 12 centimeters but look at this it's doing just fine uh, without chains and lovely long range all-wheel drive Tesla Model 3 lovely on the snow great job great job great job Tesla I love it guys that was the video I hope you enjoy it um, Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. I hope uh, you have some fun with me. And I guess I see you next time in the next video, guys. Stay safe and see you soon. Bye, guys.